Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Share. We are doing problem solving skills and this one is plan and solve. Plan and solve. It is the second phase of the problem solving process. After we read and understand, we can follow steps to plan and solve the problem. Steps that can help us to plan and solve. We can choose a strategy. What if we got stuck? We can read the problem again. We can find the key points again. And we can try another strategy. Here is a problem to help us understand this. Trees are planted at regular intervals on the side of a road which is 40 meters long. The distance between every two trees is 8 meters. How many trees can be planted if both ends of the road are to be planted with trees? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. So here are the problem-solving steps that I used. Understand the problem. Plan what strategy you're going to use. Solve the problem and check your answer. Step one, understand the problem. So what are we given? We are given that trees are planted at regular intervals on the side of a road, which is 40 meters long. So in our own words, we can write, trees are planted at regular intervals, the road is 40 meters long, and so this means the length of the road is 40 meters. Oh, and we're given some more information here. The distance between every two trees is eight meters. So the distance between two trees is eight meters. So this means each interval is eight meters long. And we're given a little bit of information over here. So it says that both ends of the road are planted with trees. So in our own words, we can write both ends of road has trees. What is there to find? We have to find the total number of trees. Step two, plan. So the length of the road is 40 meters. And here's our road. It is 40 meters. And the trees are planted at regular intervals. So here are all the trees and they are planted at regular intervals. And each interval is 8 meters long. So in between these two trees, there is 8 meters. In between these two trees, there are 8 meters. And the total number of trees? The total number of trees is dependent on the number of intervals. So, what is the total number of intervals? So, the two things we have to find over here is the total number of intervals and if we find the total number of intervals, we will find the total number of trees. So now let's think about the strategies. So here are all the strategies. I have made a video for each of them. 
So there's draw a picture, organize list, make a table, make a graph, act it out, look for a pattern, try to revise number sentence, logical reasoning, solve a simpler problem, and work backwards. So the total number of intervals we are for the total number of intervals we're going to use the number sentence strategy. And for the total number of trees we're going to use solve a simpler problem. Step 3. Solve. So this the total number of intervals. Since the road is divided into intervals so we can use the division operation. So here is 40, which is the length of the road, divided by 8, which is the distance between every two trees. Equals. So here is the whole 8 table until 8 times 5. And 8 times 5 is 40. So 40 divided by 8 equals 5. So the number of intervals equals 5. And then the total number of trees. If the number of intervals equals 1, then the number of trees will equal Two. If the number of intervals equals two, then the number of trees equals one, two, three. Three. If the number of intervals equals three, then the number of trees equals one, two, three, four. So there are four number of trees. So we just found out that the number of trees equals the number of intervals plus one. So if there are five number of intervals, the number of trees will equal 5 plus 1 equals 6. So the number of trees equal 6. Step 4. Look back and check. So now let's use another way to solve. So here is our road. It is 40 meters. And then here... I have planted two trees at the ends. Then, after 8 meters, we will plant another tree. So the remaining distance is 40 meters minus 8 equals 32 meters. And then, after another 8 meters, I planted another tree. So the remaining distance is... 32 meters minus 8 meters equals 24 meters. And then after another 8 meters, we will plant another tree. And what is the remaining distance? 24 meters minus 8 equals 16 meters. And then after 8 meters, we will plant another tree. And then what's the remaining distance? 16 meters minus 8 equals 8 meters. And 8 meters is the distance between two trees. So we have found the distance between every tree. And we know how many trees are there. So let's count them. There's one tree, two trees, three trees, four trees, five trees, and six trees. So the number of trees equal six. So this means our answer is... Correct! Yay! We solved the problem!
Do you want to try another strategy? Here I have listed all the strategies. You can choose a strategy and try to solve the problem with it. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. Hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.